Hello YouTube, um, I'm going to be doing a mod review on some mods, um, and they are REI's Minimap and Timber Mod, which are my two favorite mods, because they're both really useful and pretty awesome. Timber Mod, we should start with that, basically you need an axe, and you cut the bottom part of the tree, and it just cuts down the whole tree. So it's useful if you're in jungles because you get like 30 bajillion pieces of wood. So that is very useful, but as you see, if you do that, it still works. So, you just, But the bottom part won't get chopped on, so you should have chopped the bottom part, but you don't have to. And I want to end my favorite feature about the timber mod is... Is okay. Uh, okay, so regular trees like this. You can do that. Like plant them right next to each other. If you really want quick wood, that's pretty cool. See, it cuts down every single piece of wood next to it. But, say if you're chopping down a villager house, it'll do the same thing, but it has to be uh, regular wood. And, as you can see, there's a mini-map in the corner, and that is REI's mini-map. It's very useful, and it works on multiplayer servers. So, basically, what you do is you would press M, have the settings, that will say enabled or disabled, which basically turns it off or on. Render type is, so it turns the different, like, map thingies. Surface is obviously the surface. Biome is, tells you what biome it is by the different shades. And cave is basically a cave map. And then, if you want, say if I randomly die, um, it will have death point. So it tells you exactly where you died. So, I'm going to die for you guys. Let's... Okay, and I'll let me show you. Okay, see, I died. Okay, over here. If you look, and if you turn death point enabled, I'll show you where your death point is. Which is over here, but I think you have to like return it on, but it's fine. And next is the options like the shape square that doesn't really matter change where the map is which is pretty cool the opacity the large map which I'll show you in a minute there is other stuff that you can just play with around then surface map this is really cool so the, if you want if you want to hide snow or something like that show chunk grid basically shows all the chunks slime chunk she basically shows where slimes could spawn. Turn deaf. It's pretty cool. Then, and teddies. Okay, these are really cool. Say, enabled. And it'll tell you where mobs are. See? And the cool thing about it is it, it also tells you where it is. Like, see how the cow I'm right next to the color of the thing in the mini map is uh, really white and if I go ooh, frozen frozen the hell I say if I go higher you see if you look at the mini map the the actual colors of the Actual colors of the creatures go um, less bright, so you can tell if it's high or low. And it also shows dangerous mobs. You can easily tell is red. Slimes are green. We get a slime egg out. It's pretty just fun to play with. 
See, it's green on the mini map. Okay, I don't like swines. And then, why'd I do that? But, okay. Next is the large map. You can toggle the large map and get controlled by. By just pressing X, X will just toggle the large, it's basically a large map of the surrounding area. It's bigger than the mini app. And if you didn't know, those are the coordinates. And that's basically it for this mod review. And if you want, the, the in the description below are the mods. I highly recommend both of them. And if you want, I can do a too many items mod, which is this. And if you guys don't know how to mod, then I have a video about how to mod. And I'm sorry, because in the video I forgot to change Minecraft, the folder that you make with the unarchiver, into a, in, rename it into Minecraft.jar. If you try that, that's probably why it wasn't working. You just need to type in minecraft.jar instead, so it will know what it is. So that's basically with this mod review, okay guys?